Hare Krishna. They say the Lord works in mysterious ways. <laughs> and all I can say is, you ain't never lied yet. Today is September 20th. You know what's crazy is I wanted to make a YouTube video, but I to find a subject is 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 very hard for me sometimes because I learn so much on a daily basis and I want to talk about everything, but I don't have enough mouths to talk about all the things that I learn. If I just, if I spoke on YouTube or on the internet, whatever, for 24 hours a day, if I didn't have to work and maintain myself, if I didn't have to do nothing else, like if I was like a sannyasi or a monk and my whole 24 hours is consisting of speaking Krishna Kata, or descriptions or glorifications of Krishna or just the amazing things that happen in my life on a day-to-day -day basis I swear I wouldn't have enough tongues I wouldn't have enough mouths but <laughs> Krishna always provides opportunity for people who sincerely want or have something to share so today's September 20th today's my mother's appearance day my mother's birthday she would have been I don't know 63 Two. She would have been 62 today. She passed on a couple of years ago. You know, made videos about it. 2012, she passed on. And so, okay, boom. I wanted to bring us some flowers today. So, you know, naturally I go to Hare Krishna Mandir on a regular basis. Today was a special day. Because we're gearing up for the appearance of Sri Mati Radharani, which is tomorrow, September 21st. So, you know, it's a lot of um, energy in the air. And I've been getting a lot of signs, even from yesterday. Like, I knew that there's some weird energy. There's something different going on in the air right now. And, you know, so today, I go to the temple. And after we make our Guru Puja, after we honor Srila Prabhupada, after we worship him, after we pay our humble obeisances to Srila Prabhupada, and we push him, we give him flowers, right? And we leave it at his lotus feet. And those flowers, it looks like potpourri. It's imbued with Shakti because <laughs> of the interaction, the genuine interaction between the disciple and the spiritual master. There's a Shakti that's imparted to the sincere worshiper. It's a natural reciprocity. When you're dealing with Bhakti Yoga, everything is reciprocity. You can't do something for Krishna and not get something in return. And when I say something, I don't necessarily mean something material. Alright, so let's keep that in mind. So anyway, boom. So I got the flowers from Guru Puja. Said, alright, I'm going to go offer them to my mother. I got back late, so it's nearly midnight right now. And so I walked up to the beach, you know, because when my mother was cremated, I left her ashes in the water at the East River over by Astoria Park. So at least once a year, I like to go drop some flowers in that particular body of water. But technically all bodies of water connect at some point. So I said, I'm going to leave it over here because that's where I'm at right now. I am happen to be in this area by this Rockaway Beach. So boom. <laughs> I take the flowers down to the beach. Say, all right, go cool. chant a little Hare Krishna. Go down to the water side, say a little prayer, honor, bless my mother, boom, 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 all that good stuff. Yeah, that's the plan. So I get to the beach. <laughs> I get to the beach. I'm going to tell you something. I know I'm a grown man, whatever. They say I can take care of myself, you know? <laughs> it's a little scary on the beach. When you down there, you got company, whatever that's cool but when you by yourself and everything's black and all you see is the big ocean and you think about tsunamis and you think about ghosts and what the hell you know i'm by myself i'm going to the to the to the great ocean to leave flowers for my mom at nearly midnight i'm walking down a block chanting Hare krishna who knows what people think what i'm doing so i'm like dang it is a little uh creepy down here hilarious so what does krishna do sense of humor he sends me a police escort. That's right. I start seeing these lights coming from the direction that I was coming in. I'm two bright lights, man. And I'm like, bright light, bright light. You know, gremlins about to come out. But I see them coming and stuff. I didn't see nothing. I just saw the lights. But I pretty much figured it was the cops. And they coming towards me. I got this on so I can't really hear. And, and then the ocean's behind me. And... As they get closer, one of them turns off the light, so he's approaching me, and he's totally black. I can't see him. He's totally dark, because his uniform, whatever. Yo! 
They come up to me, I slowly put my hands up. Hey, what are you doing? What's, what's going on, you guy? Um, I'm here chanting Hare Krishna. Um, I'm about to leave some flowers for my mother. Today's her birthday. Yeah, yeah. And they come down. I said, it's funny that you guys came because I could have used the company. <laughs> I said, keep the lights on, as a matter of fact. I just want to go down by the waterside and honor my mother, Pauline Clark. You know? I said, this bag, I'm chanting Hare Krishna. Look. I said, there's a zipper right there. They said, what's in there? What's in there? I said, um, cards. I gave them the card <laughs> to the mind there I go to. You know, it has the invite, vegetarian love feast, free vegetarian feast. You know, boom, 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 with the information, with the mantra, meditation, yoga, bhakti. And I gave them the card. It got the mantra on the back. And they actually, you know, held up the light, man. Like, So many, many, many years in this country, black body people have faced so much abuse from the police and are interacting. Our interactions with police have not been <coughs> of the best nature. It's a serious thing. A lot of times we encounter police, we wind up dead on the short end of the stick or beat up, you know what I'm saying? Or arrested with probable or unprobable cause. And this is a testament to the power of Krishna consciousness. I swear, if y'all don't hear nothing else, just investigate this Krishna consciousness make a sincere attempt I'm living proof on my mother's birthday that Krishna can transcendentalize any situation that could have easily turned out to be a bad situation they could have been jerks looking to catch a body this is far Rockaway y'all don't know what's going on out here on one side of the tracks there's an income boom and they're building and a new class of people are moving in and on the other side of the tracks, pure Gaza Strip. You hear it in the background. <laughs> when it goes off out here, it's going down. <laughs> it's really bad out here, worse than Brownsville. People dropping like flies, but anyway. Yo, I'm in Far Rockaway. Police run up on me and help me. And like, only Krishna could do that. Send the police with lights. You know what I'm saying? All you need when you're in the darkness is a little light. Police held me down tonight. I honor the life of Pauline Clark. Thank her for being the vessel that brought me to this particular world to perform my duty for Sri Sri Radha Govinda. Everybody have a happy Radhasthami and get prepared for Kartika Damodara. It's coming up. Say is only Krishna could transcendentalize the situation. Now it is obvious that not only is a person who's striving to learn how to become a devotee protected from the police, but no, not only are we protected from the police, Krishna can make them your friend in the moment of greatest need. Shout out to the real cops in the NYPD. Hare Krishna.